So uh, welcome to my um, hangar here. Uh, I'm Grim Jim, and uh, I'm going to be uh, walking around, maybe just do a little exploring, do a little thinking about uh, where Star Citizen is going. Um, why the hell do I have a propeller engine? In my oh, it's the air condition, of course. Sorry, that's fine. That's fine. It's the same on the building. Oh, uh, let's see what we got in the uh, hangar. There's my freelancer, the old trucker. She's a loader until I get the max running. She's out to the shop at the minute. They're working on some stuff. They'll get it done. Uh, Big Benny's machine here. I feel like some noodles I've just eaten. So we are good to go. Um, some people say uh, my hang is a little scruffy looking, but I. Uh, I think it's got that lift in block. It's, it's alright. Alright, now then. We need to... Oh, where are we going? Right, we need to go to... Delivery drop uh, to deliver this cargo I've got. Um, I'm going to be doing a hypothetical. Uh, a bit too close. A uh, hypothetical sort of uh, run, cargo run sort of uh, thing from Olisar to uh, from Olisar to Grimlands. Yeah. Um, fully armed. Yeah, the boys have armed it up. Excellent. Excellent. Make sure the uh, we haven't left the uh, keys in the ignition or something. Uh, this is the uh, freelancer. Yeah, it's uh, it's probably one of my favourite um, ships. Um, don't know, I missed a spot when I was shaving. Um, plenty of room for cargo. You know, fit fit a Nox in there. A bit of cargo. Be, uh, doing all right. Or essentially, you could fit two Noxes and a bit of cargo here, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's the cargo. goes right there. There we go. Um, let's have a look. Uh, the map's derping out a little bit on there. Uh, they'll get that fixed, though. Right. Uh, I didn't leave my keys in here, so... Let's, uh... Wait, I've got my keys on me. Alright. Silly me. Let us go beyond to Olisar.
yeah, it's a bit of a nice lift, isn't it? Um, for uh, such a crappy looking play. Anyway. Let's see, where do we need to go? Stanton unit. Yep, we're in the Stanton system still. Right, uh, exit to the menu. And we can go straight to Crusader. One should probably um, be aware when they're flying a Starfarer into a broken moon uh, that the debris is going to get a little um, more hectic the closer you get to the actual moon. Um, you should probably probably stay clear of it, really. You know, plot around the moon. Um, this is actually a demonstration of a no-no. Um, I mean, he's got his fighter escorts, that's that's good, you know, you need fighter escorts if you're going to uh, transport a lot of uh, fuel for the military, for instance, you get perks like a couple of fighter escorts, I guess. I wonder how much an NPC fighter escort would cost. Hmm. I wonder if you can hire an NPC fighter escort. Hmm. <laughs> Things we think about while playing Star Citizen. Ah, oh, that didn't take long to load. Alright. Let's go see how the boys are doing down here. server. Stay there, I'll go uh, Please press the screen to Oh shit. There it goes. I'll go, uh, well, I'll probably try this SSC. That's not my streaming in, but whenever I put music streaming in, it doesn't see it seems to just take over the whole stream and I can't I can't hear myself talk. It's, it's just no good. I've gone the wrong way. What's that first response? things have just been redesigned as well so uh, when we get 3.0 we'll get the new models of these out and uh, we'll refer to them as the flying coffin yeah very nice oh, 
He's got a Mustang. Lovely. I started with a Mustang. Then I tripped up and bought another ship. And that led me to trip up and buy another ship. And another one. And another one. And then I just became like DJ Khaled. Another one. Right. Get into the old cockpit here. Anvil Aerospace. All systems online. Round the leaders. Yep, there. Check. Check. Boost fuel. Plenty of fuel. Yep. Full fuel. EM emissions uh, are nice and low, of course. But I'm really looking forward to when they implement uh, stealth in the in the 3.0 because uh, it's going to be pretty sweet flying this thing around and just sneaking up on people. Spread those wings. I just love them. But yeah, as you can see, I'm flying a ghost, and um, it's the stealth series of the uh, Hornets. And um, it's. Oh, I thought we were going to crash there. <laughs> it's. Uh, you know, I've, I've put an extra weapon on the front there just to give it some more firepower and, and stuff, as you do. There you get Olisar flying away off in the background there. And when they implement the actual stealth, that's going to be interesting to do. Interesting to see how that will work. Um, you can actually see some of the stealth monitors inside the cockpit. You see here the EM emissions. Like when I. Gives away my signal a bit. You see? You see the bar there? Assuming it's this orange one that we want to follow, uh, I'm not sure if it's this one. Um, if they could give a little, like a little crash course, in what these monitors mean, that would be lovely. That'd be swell. Um, <coughs> here we have our shields and everything. Uh, we're all green and everything's good there. Uh, healthy ship. Uh, if anything gets damaged, they go to yellow and then red when they're not absolutely uh, in bad shape. Uh, here we have our targeting system. This hopefully will show the enemy ship that we are targeting and be able to tell us like what sort of state that is in, as we're wrecking it. These things, uh, there, you know, uh, the sub map, sub fuel, and this is our weapons and ammunition. some stuff as well. But yeah, so it's a cool little cockpit. I love this. I like the old uh, anvil cockpit. It's good. Um, anyway, we are going to ICC Pro. It's the old ICC. Oh, there it is. 
there. like over 13 million miles away right now so he's obviously hiding in Yale or some shit. Um, and as it stands right now um, I don't know like if when a targeted enemy is supposed to jump away we're supposed to not be able to see his target anymore or anything but as it stands right now when they jump all over the uh, Stanton system as it stands right now they you know you can just see where they go <laughs> and stuff so you can't really escape um, I could go and wreck them and stuff but my wings pretty badly damaged and my engines are pretty badly damaged too which is pretty bad like one more missile shot from uh, Um, but yeah, something I wanted to, uh, something I wanted to think about is, uh, you know, these, these huge little arrays that they've got, these huge little arrays, that makes no sense. Like, you know, are we going to be able to, like, go and see, like, these things? Is it just going to be something where we, like, say, dock here in a, in a bad room? or something like this and you're making like drops to like, I don't know, or a cargo ship to make food supply drops to these places or water supply drops. And like this is like the habitat area where you've got like all these little things, uh, habitat. Bits like where you store food and water, maybe a 
don't know, maybe it's the fuel for the actual array. Because they must take power and stuff, so it takes some sort of fuel that you've got to store. supplies to it, like any station and stuff, or, or maybe like, like this is you can't go out and like, stop it. you can like walk around Olisar, that's a station that's a big station you can walk around, but it's essentially like four of the same places copy and pasted to make it like four different huge landing bay areas. It's cool and everything, but you know, I'm wondering if the stations in 3.0 are going to be a little bit more um, dynamic, a little bit more, you know, less... Uh,
miramos. Just show. Like, uh, I think they're definitely thinking about putting some sort of like little hub, like a little meeting place on a cryastro, because you've got like these little uh, doors down here. And you can't get them in, in them or anything right now, but it definitely seems like somebody thought about, oh yeah, we should make like a little pub or something in there, a little bar, maybe a shopping centre. save your game at. Becomes like becomes like an RPG in. You know, every every old JRPG that you played, you always save your game at an inn and stuff. Like a cryastro can essentially become a space in.
he's trying not to play. So you need to change the sound of these goddamn boxes, cuz... Hey, Jenny! Think you can head on back and whip us up a cup of something hot? I'm about to pass out. Got a contact. Multiples. Let's see what the ridges say. Not coming up. Forget the drink! I need to watch you now!
Scan the area for various pirate activity, you know, well, shipping, just general shipping activity, you know, they can give you an idea of what's going on and stuff. But pirates should see to pirates keep shutting them down so they can, you know, maneuver more covertly. So we're going to turn this bad boy on so uh, Tessa over at the ICC Pro can tell you, guys, where the pirates are. Like who's coming into the system and who's leaving the system. And then the security will go after the pirates. And system startup initiated. Set. Start connection. Comrade. There we go. Easy money. This bit always reminds me of aliens. Just these pipes and stuff. Need to make a big ship with like loads of these pipes or a station or something like that. Stealthy. Whoa, damn. I guess we got hit a few times in that fight. Battle scar on there. That's this side, like, oof, got hit up on this side, like, a little bit as well. Nah, we'll go land this in Olasar. Get a big old ship. Get a big old ship. Do some space. <laughs>
looks like uh, somebody's about to go out in a Connie. Constellation Andromeda. I don't think I'm in much trouble of people nicking that. Uh -oh. Seems quiet here today. four-man cruise ship. This one's designed for military action, uh, support for your fighters, you know. It's generally the artillery in the um, fighter support. Describe it like a Lancaster bomber, I guess. I say uh, World War II plane because Chris Roberts has uh, designed a lot of this based off like World War II sort of uh, planes and stuff, you know, even heavy cruisers. I guess that would be a gun, a destroyer. Maybe. I don't know. I need to know more ships, more about it. Is Crusader today? Ah. It is a cloudy day today on Crusader. Mm. One day it'll get the sunshine. Oh, uh, so this is the uh, Starfarer. Um, I've made videos using this before, but there's always like a so you can never hear me uh, talk about it. This is a um, 
There's a military version and a citizen version. I'm pretty sure this is the civilian version. Uh, uh, the Gemini is the military version. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, used for gathering gas. So, essentially, you take it over to Crusader there, the big gas giant, and you put it and you'd uh, stock up on fuel, like um, a sort of hydrogen and uh, central components that you can use to um, that you can essentially use to like uh, make fuel out of. So, you know, this is uh, my mission for fuel, which is fun. And then you'd uh, transport your fuel over to I don't know the military, uh, an outpost somewhere station or something. Um, it also has plenty of cargo space. Plenty of cargo space for like other things that you need to uh, take to the uh, stations or wherever it is your cargo to ferry the cargo. It's, it's huge, as you can see. It's a huge, huge ship. Um, you've got like uh, gangways up there. Uh, we'll go up there in a sec. Um, you can take a whole squad of marines. That's your ideal land on a planet as well, and your whole squad can run out and mess stuff up uh, if you don't get shot down first, because this is a huge target. Uh, if not many guns, I mean, it's got some guns, but and the guns it does have a class 3, so they're pretty big. You know, pretty good, decent guns. This is like a, an emergency evacuation, or is it a docking collar? Yeah, it's like a docking collar. So, if you dock onto something, essentially you'd uh, dock onto, say, a station, or uh, maybe even a capital ship. I'm not sure how they're going to work with that. And they'd have like a little docking collar here to uh, get to to go from your ship and stuff. Which is neat. It's very NASA like, it's very uh, International Space Station. down here so that's why you don't float away. It's like magnetized flooring. And uh, and you, you know you, these have all got like uh, little functions to see how full they are and everything. Decouple them. Vent them. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. It's, it's pretty neat. Uh, and they must store like absolutely loads of you fuel in these huge cylinders. Uh, moving on up, I uh, will take the left. That's what fancy. We'll, we'll take the left because we're fancy. We're, we're fancy lads. We're going to take the left. Please? No? Maybe? No? Alright. So we'll take the stairs because, you know, we're working men. We like to you know, walk around the ship a bit. The stairs over here uh, lead up to the engineering section. Yeah. Like you've got your um, engine room and your Oh, you've got your Jeffrey's tube as well, like, uh, I can't wait for bigger ships, like, I hope they, they make this for, like, bigger ships as well, like, more of these little Jeffrey's tubes. I mean, you, you know you're dealing with uh, Star Trek fans uh, making a space game when you, they've put in, like, a little Jeffrey's tube like that in your bloody ship. That's a good place to hide an ambush, people. 
people. Uh, if your ship gets boarded, yes, your ship can get boarded. Uh, here's the uh, main uh, quantum drive engine drive quantum diddly do thing. What makes it go? Yes. Uh, here's another escape uh, hatch area. It's pretty cool. These lifts work, you see. You see? There you go. That was the problem. We just were up there, and then we go back up. Oh, I was pressing the wrong thing. I was pressing the wrong thing. That's, of course, of course, use lift. You've got to call the lift, and then you've got to use lift, of course. That's, it's not a bug, it's just me being daft. Let's see, we're both. A lot of escape hatches, it must be, has to be said. Oh, actually, that room back here, where you go out, I think this was an EVA room. Oh, that's the main generator, the main power engine. And that is your quantum drive. That's your quantum drive, and there's your engine. And this is where you store your spacesuits. Yes! Okay, and then you go down and you fix stuff for the thing. Okay, I get it. I get it. We get it now. Here we've got the uh, little uh, server room. I'm assuming these are the servers that control uh, some of their ship's functions and stuff. I imagine there's another one on the other side. Computer systems. And you know, you can come up through uh, maintenance access there, or you can go up these stairs, which Okay, it's nice to see that we're not moving. This is where your crew stays. Pretty nice. It's a bit too close to my quarters, I prefer my own privacy. Uh, here's another bathroom. So great places to hide. Your ship is being bought. Might I add. Uh, this would be uh, where we all get dinner and stuff. This would be where, you know, you're um, you're having dinner and your friend, he starts choking and then he coughs up a load of like white stuff and then f starts foaming at the mouth. Then an alien pops out his chest and you know, you got to go running around the ship hunting an alien and stuff. Oh wait, you know, that might be a movie, I'm not sure. It might be confusing that. Um, it's got like these little windows up here. Oh, what can you see up there? 
There's a little cutlass up there. <laughs> Wave to other cutlass. Maybe in 3.0 you'll be able to do that without having, like, you'll be able to do that tabbed out of your character, like, in third person, but right now you've got to, you can only type those commands in first person. So it's a little hard, unless, like, they last a few seconds, it's a little hard seeing what they do. Or it's another person doing them too. This is Captain's Quarter, it's got a little office, you know nice office with like all of the ships happenings, how full the cargo is, the status of it, uh, the weight, the um, functions, uh, maybe a little mind sweep or something. Here you can watch the game or you know, maybe uh, communicate with uh, UAE members and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what happens. Yeah, it's, this is sweet. I love this. It's the server we came from. Right, I guess it's time to go to the cockpit. So let's call the elevator. Go down. Yeah. We're a pro now. Yeah, we know how to use elevators now. Okay, so we'll get to take the stairs down. Here's the cockpit. This is the main escape room for your cockpit crew. As you can see, there were other various escape pods throughout the ship. Uh, we've got support seat, another support seat. I guess that's like the shields. Stuff. Maybe one scanners. This is the pilot seat. Let's take this baby for a spin. And we are surrounded by ships. Why are we surrounded? landing gears up.
to see the moon move very fast. Well, why don't we move very fast towards this moon? side of the star fairer as it glistens in the sun you gotta love that miss chrome look uh, the other popular uh, misc ship is the freelancer uh, I'll often confuse the names mix them up and stuff but the big one is the star fairer this is the star fairer and the smaller one that we started in in my uh, hangar was the uh, freelancer there called it Starfarer. And uh, where is... now I'm looking for the station we are heading in. Oh. Which is somewhere in this vast, vast asteroid belt. And unless you know what it looks like and where you're going, obviously you're going to have some hard time finding it. But I see it. No worries. I'm sure those of you that know what it looks like have seen it too. is a lot slower than the uh, fighter I was just flying. Giants. I guess there's a lot of debris that flies around gas giants, maybe. A lot of that space dust. So Grim Hex used to be a mining station, um, and gradually, as its uh, mining has worn out and died down, it has become a den of activity for well, those that don't really want to be seen by the law. These asteroids in this belt, uh, scattered throughout the belt, there's a little mystery. Uh, you can go and find. Oh, I'm going to have 
to go in the cockpit here because we're getting close to this asteroid. Let's get away around this asteroid. just released a new ship, a new luxury ship. They, they're all about luxury. They are the Mercedes of uh, Star Citizen ships, luxury ships. The community is pretty um, half and half about it. You know, some of them like the idea of a nice looking ship to be fancy in, and some of them are like, oh, it's, if it's got no uh, purpose, it shouldn't be in the game. You've got all the ships that have purpose. It's nice to have something special to, I don't know, jump to all of your uh, operations to. You know, you can give all the people in your organization all the functional ships, and then you yourself go around in a nice fancy ship.
this station just has these huge cables. Putting all these asteroids together, I assume it's to hide from the UV. Catching on. Zoom out a bit. Uh, now we should be good. Alright, cool. Kill. We're in position. So let's just gently pull us a bit closer in.
think she's down. Let's go take a look. You want to take your uh, gun out for uh, Grim Hex because uh, pirates. Lots and lots of It's maybe a, not as straight as I would like it, but that is a landing at Grimhex. Oh yeah. That is a nice successful one. on the nose. Yeah, we got a little bit of scuffs on the nose, but it's to be expected, you know. And that. And some quality space trucking. Alright, and now as any space trucker would, we hit the bar. Yeah? That's what I look forward to in this game, is the uh, space trucking. Just, I like the idea of like it's more of a challenge to like... tradition. We just have a drink at the bar. Oh, there's no... Also, Sig, you need to make a command for cheers. Thank you. cordial, some sort of space beer, sky 24, jinx, got the jinx there, and what's this one, Caribbean something, uh, hold on, I got an idea, oh no I can't take out my rifle here, damn, Widow. Yeah. I'll have a glass of calf cart widow. 
think that'll be my character's drink of choice. Oh, apparently there's a live show here. from here to Timbuktu. That, that Gadji that runs the, um, the Astro Pub, he should do his uh, podcast from here. Or at least taking the background from it for his uh, pub. For his little background picture. I mean, I like his little fluorescent light though. Maybe he doesn't need to. Maybe he doesn't need to. He's got his own thing. Maybe I'll start my own pub thing. Yeah. I'll do streams from back there. Alright. Kiss to the hornet lady. Bah. get the t-shirt and go back. Let's see what t-shirt do we have today. Got a wash. I think I've got that one. I'm running out of t-shirts to buy. Silent. Confirm purchase. There we go. Thank you, Grim Hex. Creepy mannequin. That one's kind of uh, reminds me of Judge Dredd for some reason. He's bringing cod pieces back. I like it. Uh, super heavy army. Yep, he's going to do some damage. And that's the one we're wearing. Dust up. It's my fave. Rings, like 
you're a pirate, this is where you spawn because you're scum and you don't deserve anything better. So if you want Right, let's go up to the top. Uh, I've plenty of time now for stowaways to creep aboard my ship. Let's see if anyone's creeped aboard. to make an observation deck area like so you can see your ships from inside uh, Grimhex maybe a couple of turrets so you can stop people from blowing up your ships from inside Starfire is still up so That's just me being crazy. Although the ramp has gone up. Which means somebody may be aboard. Pressing E, it's press F.
question for you. This sounds serious, right? <laughs> it's coming from these coordinates. You should help if you can. Why don't you bloody tell UE about this? I'm in a Starfarer, what the hell am I gonna do? Come on, Tessa, use your head, jeez. Alright, fine, I'll go get fighter. Hold on. Full handing there. So. And somebody already sneaking into the ship to prop it.
completed, what I wanted to accomplish on Star Set. And let's uh, leave the ship for the choice. See, uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, ooh. I like these things. I like the look of these. They look pretty cool. Do they have a back door? I like to do missions with multi-crew and stuff, but the problem is, like, right now as it stands, if you put, like, say, four people in a Starfarer to do a mission with, you'd have four pirates that spawn, for one for each of those, like, players. So, yeah. That would mean that, kind of really work in this half hour. Um, hopefully they've like thought about this for 3.0, like the ratio to pirates versus people in like something like a staff or something like that. Like they don't need to spawn a pirate for every single person within the ship. I mean can you imagine like spawning to a relay station in a bloody Idris and uh, there's like a whole and you've got a whole full crew of like 50 players in there and you get 50 pirates like attacking you all the time it's like no no it should be like you know haha -ha, we're in a multi-crew ship haha -ha, one pirate spawns haha -ha, blow you away um, and oh no it's like too maneuverable for us because we're a big ship just do your best on the guns, boys. And, you know, because you got your, you got your gunners like firing and your stuff like this. There's a big gun there. Ah. Anyway. Kill a vodka. Nice. And 
and I'll probably be streaming some ARC later with the guys, uh, building and stuff, uh, not sure how interesting that'll be, probably try to tame something, like a, I don't know, a friggin' unicorn or something. Um, I'll be back with a game change, hopefully in a few minutes, I'll just take a little break. change uh, my setup for for the new stream all right have a nice one good day <laughs> 